Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. So far, three problems I have completed on job sequencing. So if you have watched the earlier videos, hope you are in a position to solve the problem of job, uh, job sequencing. It's a problem where a number of jobs are there, which every job is passing through two stages or three stages like that. Stages means machines. So what is the optimum sequence of completing all the jobs in the minimum possible time? Our objective is to finish off all the jobs in the shortest possible time. That sequence we have to find out. That means which job to be done first, which job to be done next, like that. So Johnson and Bellman has given the technique of finding the solution. First, in both the I mean machines, we find out what is the minimum possible time. If the minimum possible time, minimum processing time is on the first machine, then assign the job from the left. If the minimum time is in the, on the second machine, assign the job from the right. Like that, you have to proceed until all the jobs we have filled up. Now here, fourth problem. Before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Come, fourth problem. Jobs are J1, J2, J3, J4, J5, J6 and J7. So seven jobs are given. And two machines are given M1 and M2. The processing time for each of the job on each of the machine is given. Find the total elapsed time and idle time of the above jobs. That's it. As usual, what we have done in the last three problems. So first we write on like this. Jobs are J1, J2, J3 up to J7. Then processing times on M1, 6, 10, 12 like that. Processing times on M2, 6, 8, 4, 8, 5, 12 like that. This is the complete information given in the problem. Now, first thing, look at the minimum time, minimum processing time of which job. So here, if you observe all the values, one is the minimum for the job J4 and on machine M1. Machine M1 means we have to assign from the left. First machine, we have to assign the job from the left. This is the, the smallest processing time is one hour for job J4 and on machine M1. So we assign job four in the first cell to the left as follows. First, we uh, make seven boxes because seven jobs are there. So from left side, the first cell, we are writing job J4. Because for job, job J4, minimum time is one hour and on machine M1. One job completed. Now the remaining processing times are exclude this J4. The remaining jobs are J1, J2, J3, J5, J6, J7. Four we have not taken because already assigned. Then same processing times what we have, what we have written here. We have copied. Now find out what is the minimum processing time. Now you can find four is the minimum. Four is the minimum for which job and on which machine. It is for job number J1 and machine M2, second machine. So we have to assign from the right, from the last cell. The minimum processing time is four hours for job J1 on the machine M2. So we assign job one to the last cell as follows, this one, J1. So two jobs we have assigned, job J4 in the first cell, job J1 on the last cell. Now remaining jobs, first job over, so 2, 3, 4 also assigned, 5, 6, 7. Among these processing times, what is the minimum? 5. 5 is the minimum processing time for job J3 on machine M2. M2 means again from right side. Right side we have to assign. Before job J1, already right side one job we have assigned J1. So before J1 we assign J3. Right? So minimum processing time is 5 hours for job J3 on machine M2. So we assign job J3 to the right before job J1 as follows. 
तो बिफोर जे वन जे थ्री वी हैव असाइंड तो हाउ मेनी जॉब्स यू हैव कंप्लीटेड थ्री जॉब्स यू हैव कंप्लीटेड स्टिल फोर मोर जॉब्स आर देर रिमेनिंग प्रोसेसिंग टाइम्स जे टू जे फाइव जे सिक्स जे सेवन सेम प्रोसेसिंग टाइम्स वी हैव टेकन द मिनिमम प्रोसेसिंग टाइम इज एट आवर्स फॉर जॉब जे टू ऑन मशीन एम टू एम टू मीन्स अगेन फ्रॉम राइट फ्रॉम द राइट साइड राइट साइड ऑलरेडी वी हैव असाइन जे वन एंड जे थ्री Now before this J3 we assign J2. <clears throat> J2 will be assigned before J3. Minimum processing time eight hours for job J2 on machine M2. Hence we assign job J2 to the right before J3. So before J3 J2. The remaining processing times three uh, jobs are still there J5 J6 J7. So seven is the minimum time for job J5 on first machine. First machine means we have to assign from the left. Already on the left side we have J4. So after J4 we assign J5. <coughs> so minimum time seven hours for job five. J, uh, job J5 on M1. So we assign job five to the left after job J4. So after J4 J5. Two more cells are left. So these are J6 and J7. The minimum time is 16. For which job J6. On which machine M1? So left side. Left side already we have assigned J5. So after J5 we assign J6. Now remaining one cell is left and one job is left. So J7 J7 will be assigned to the remaining job. So finally, the remaining job will be assigned to the remaining cell. Final optimum sequence will be J4 J5. After J5 we write J6. Then remaining job J seven, then J two J three J one J two J three J one. That's it. This is the optimum sequence. So if we follow this optimum sequence, the total elapsed time will be minimum, shortest possible time we can be able to finish off all the jobs if we follow this sequence. This is the first part of the problem. Now second part it is asking you to calculate the total elapsed time and idle time. So these are the column. <clears throat> First column job. Second broad column machine M1. Then next column machine M2. Last column will be idle time for second machine. First machine idle time we don't require because once the first machine is started, it will not stop in between till the end of the last job. So at the end we will have some idle time, but in the middle we don't have. So job J4 J5 this sequence J4 J5 J6 J7 J2 J3 J1 this is the optimal sequence M1 machine M1 we have in out machine M2 in out when it is started and when it is finished starting time is in and finishing time is out right always the first job will be started at zero hour so zero hour we are going to start now find out for J4. Job four on machine M one. Job four on machine M one. How much is the time here? One hour. So it started from zero hour and it will finish the work at one hour. So zero to one. Immediately after one hour, the next job will be started. So one hour it will start. J five M one. J five M one is seven. So one plus seven is eight. Eighth hour it will be finished. So from eighth hour, J six M one, J six M one is sixteen. <clears throat> so eight plus sixteen, twenty four. From twenty four it will start. J seven M one, J seven M one is twenty. So add up twenty. Twenty four, <clears throat> sorry, twenty four plus twenty <clears throat> is forty four. Again from forty four it will start. J two M one, ten hours. So add up forty four plus ten, fifty four. From fifty four it will start J three M one, J three M one twelve. So fifty four plus twelve sixty six. From sixty six J one M one, J one M one is six. So sixty six plus six seventy two. It started the work at zero hour and ended the work at seventy two hours. No break in between, no idle time in between. Now. The processing first it will be done on M1. After completing the processing on M1, M2 will start the work. 
तो हि फर्स्ट जे फोर इट स्टार्टेड एट जीरो आर एंड फिनिश्ड एट वन आर तो इमीडिएटली एट फर्स्ट आर फिनिश्ड द एम टू मशीन विल स्टार्ट तो हियर इट विल स्टार्ट तो फर्स्ट टाइम वन आर इट वॉज वेटिंग एम टू इज वेटिंग आइडल बिकॉज इट कैन स्टार्ट द वर्क ओनली आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द वर्क ऑन एम वन तो वन आर इज द आइडल टाइम तो वॉट इज जे फोर एम टू सी हियर जे फोर एम टू इज ट्वेल्व तो वन प्लस ट्वेल्व is 13 now compare what is the finishing time of the next job and what is the finishing time of the present job present job is finished at 13 hour and here the job is finished at 8 hour itself j5 the work is done at 8 hour now the job is waiting machine is not waiting job is waiting from 8 hour whereas this 13 so higher of the two we have to take higher is 13 So it will start from 13 hours. That means it has finished the work at 13 hour. Immediately it has started the work on next job without waiting. Now J5 M2. What is J5 M2 level? So here 13 plus 11, 24. Now compare here. 24 is the out finishing time. Here also finishing time 24. There is no idle time for the job and no idle time for the machine. Same 24. तो J6 M2 J6 M2 is 19 तो 24 plus 19 is 43 now 43 or 44 whichever is higher तो 44 is higher it has finished the work at 43 hour but immediately 43 hour it cannot start the work because here the job is still being done on machine M1 machine one is engaged on this job. so it can start only after finishing the work on m1 so it will start at 44 higher 43 or 44 so it will start at 44 so one hour machine is waiting it has completed the work at 43 but it is starting the work at 44 so one hour is the idle time right so 44 j7 j7 m2 how much is j7 m2 30 so here 44 plus 30 is 74 Now 74th hour, the work is completed. But here the job is done at 54 only. But it cannot start at 54 because here still it is going higher. So 74 is the higher. It will start at 74. Now there is no idle time. 74, 74, no idle time. So J2 M2. What is J2 M2? Eight. So here 74 plus eight, <coughs> 82. Now 82 or 66, whichever is higher, 82 is higher. It will start at 82. It cannot start at 66. Started at 82. How much? There is no idle time. Then J3 M2. J3 M2 is five. So 82 plus five, 87. Now 87 or 72, whichever is higher, 87 is higher. So it will start at 87th hour. Last, how much is the time for J1 M2? J1 M2 is four hours. So 87 plus four, you will get 91. That's all. So what is the final time? 91 hours. Job was started at zero hours, and all the jobs were finished at 91 hours. So this 91 hours is called total minimum elapsed time. What is the idle time for job M1? M1 actually finished the job at 72, but all the jobs were completed at 91. So 91 minus 72, you will get 19 hours. So during the whole duration, 19 hours is the idle time for machine M1. M2 machine. Here simply you have to take the total one plus one, two hours. Only two hours is idle time for machine M2. That's all. So this is the end of problem number four. So inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your friends, among your circle group, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. 
I have uploaded so many videos on different subjects for BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA. Apart from that, IGCSC is there, CA Foundation. So many videos I have uploaded. Visit the playlist of my channel. Select the subject. Watch the video. Be confident on the subject, on the topic. So, inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.